Hi, I'm Matt Capel here with Capel Flooring and Interiors here in Meridian, Idaho. Hey, I've got a quick video for you today, a tip. So what I have here with me today is I have some engineered hardwood. And so engineered hardwood, just for a quick recap, it basically has a veneer on top. And then below that's usually some plywood or press board or something else. So the top itself is wood, but the rest of it is not. Um, but one thing that we get asked about is how do you do, deal with scratches or problems in the floor and so if you have like a dark floor like this um, and you get like some scratches or things like that in it it's actually really quite easy to uh, minimize or make those go away because as you can see it has like these are called chatter marks or cross checking and they can tend to be black and in this particular wood um, it tends to have kind of a black grain so really the way to fix that is you just take some uh, markers you can use Crayola markers or Sharpies or different things. So in this case here, I've got a black and a brown one. So we're going to kind of experiment with both. But basically, if I take this marker and I color that in like that, and so I'm just going to color on these for a minute. Um, now mind you, this isn't like a perfect fix, but um, with hardwood, really you should be gauging your hardwood, what or how you can see things if you're standing up and looking down. Um, any hardwood floor will have imperfection or problems with it. If uh, you're combing the floor kind of like a bloodhound. So, you know, the National Hardwood Flooring Association tells you to look at your floor um, as if you're a standing up and so this isn't too much different um, so in this case I did that so you can get like so put a little moisture on your finger or whatever but basically you just kind of rub those in so it's not exactly a perfect fix and that's why sometimes you see how like I'm kind of rubbing that out there and so you kind of get some of the residue off if you need to you can dab your finger in some water or you know if you're feeling um, up to it you can lick your finger a little bit but see how like I'm rubbing it a little bit creating a little bit of friction on it um, and then you kind of just rub it in like that um, but yeah so I mean if you look really closely you can see it a little bit but um, Basically, if you're standing up, it goes away for the most part, and then it just looks like another, as you see up here, like another chatter mark or cross-checking. Um, you know, and if the first it doesn't look so great, you can always try again and try a different color. Um, but you can usually use like Crayola markers. Those work really well, these black ones. You can see in the past, like I had already fixed something here with the black one, like along here, and you just kind of rub it in like that. Um, but it adds, so if you, uh, so basically at the end of the day, I mean, I had a bunch of white and marks here, and this works especially well with, uh, darker colors. Um, you know, if you're standing up and looking down this floor, um, you're not going to see them anymore. Um, so I know it sounds kind of silly, but just using some markers from like Sharpie or Crayola or whatever will, uh, and make sure it's like the color of your floor so you know if your floor is red or orange or whatever you know you'd need a different color but uh, that's just an easy way to fix and minimize problems and make scratches that go away and engineered floors so i hope this tip uh, helps if you have any questions let me know um, feel free to share this with others or like it or um, ask questions and i try to respond to everything thanks so much